Hi again from your diary. Today we're going to take a quick first look at the Force Freedom. This is the newer and smaller offering from Force, a smart bag company, and it has an MSRP of just under $200. I got it for $199.99. Judy has a review sample that she's working on. She she got hers, unboxed it, took it out, started using it, and was blown away. So I thought we would take a quick look at the Force Freedom on camera. Um, I actually have not unpacked this yet. So as you can see, it comes in a really nice red bag. It doesn't, uh, I don't know what you'd use the bag for after you take it out, but it is kind of nice. And at a premium cost of $199, uh, it's kind of nice that they ship it in this way. Before I even take it out of the bag, let me just point out that what makes this stand out is, is two real factors. Number one, this bag is a three-in-one bag. It's a briefcase, a messenger bag, and a backpack, and it has built into it a 15,000 milliamp hour battery so that you can charge two devices at once, and uh, you can actually keep your smartphone going for almost a week with this bag. So let's open it up. It comes right out like that, and as you can see, it has this very, very nice material. It's a special material that the company says that they made. Um, it is a, a canvas, I believe. We'll have the details and the specifics in the notes below and in the written review of the bag, but I did want to take a look at it on camera. So what's really interesting about this bag is all of the extra stuff that comes in it. So you get, this is the shoulder harness. This is what allows you to turn it into a backpack. We'll come back and look at that in a second. You've got briefcase handles, but they don't disconnect. You've got literature from Force right here. Let's see, I know that up oh, here's where the other handle is. As I said, I have not unpacked this yet, so I'm just learning about this now. Uh, it includes a USB to micro USB cable. They do not include a lightning connector. Uh, you're going to have to bring your own if you want to do that. The poles are these nice metal poles. So here is, uh, here's what you have. You have, first of all, you have this really nice, it's a waterproof material, which is really, really nice. You have the Force logo right here in this little metal medallion, which uh, not overdone, but, but very, very subtle, but actually a nice little accent on the front of the bag. The bottom of the bag has this double area here for waterproofing. Let me put the handle back inside. You do have a luggage cart pass through here as well, so you can put this on your luggage cart. And the inside is actually lined with this soft material that will keep your, uh, your items protected when you put them in and out. And in fact, the tablet space has a special material which actually will help keep the screen clean. So you have this open area right here. I've uh, actually received some criticisms for not putting stuff into bags when we've looked at them. So uh, here's my iPad Air 2. It fits right here inside this nice zippered pocket and now it's nicely protected. It is in a case, in the basic case that we're reviewing right now, but if I needed to, I could easily uh, just put it in without anything at all. You have uh, other additional pockets. You've got a pocket, so as I said, you've got the pocket here for the iPad. You've got a pocket here that would be good for a smaller tablet or an iPad mini. You've got a pocket here at the front as well. This does not have the soft interior. This is for some papers if you like. And you have a rear pocket here which is designed to fit a 13 inch laptop. This is actually the Toshiba Chromebook 2 that I'm currently reviewing and it fits inside. Judy did discover that you can actually put a MacBook Air 15 inch at MacBook Air Retina inside as well which made her and it makes me very happy because it means I can actually take this to CES if I want. So it has plenty of space, even though it is a relatively small bag. Let me take out the iPad and let's dig a little more into some of the features. So the bag itself, it has this nice area up front which unzips and allows you to have a nice little organizing space here right up front. And it zips closed. Then you have this area here and you've got the two handles which allow you to carry this as if it's a briefcase. Now, what I haven't shown you yet is what makes the Force bag a Force, which is right here. It's, let me pull it out. The included 15,000 milliamp hour battery. This battery has two USB ports that you can connect two devices with the cable that they include and your own cable as well. It does smart charging so it won't overcharge your devices. It has a power button 
right there, and it also shows you the uh, USB ports light up, as does the top here. So you can see how much charge that you have. And you have the micro USB port right here. This will charge from pretty much any other device to recharge the battery. So you can be going, again, 15,000 milliamp hour battery, and it has its own little dedicated spot right here. Now, a battery like this, you'd spend 70, 80 bucks for this battery. So when you take that into consideration, the bag is actually not nearly as expensive as you might have initially thought. Um, it's certainly not an inexpensive bag by any measure, but uh, $199 when you include the 15,000 milliamp hour battery, not bad, not bad at all. So there's also, it's worth noting, let me see if I can get it on camera. There's also this pass-through here, which allows the cable to go from the battery into the smaller iPad mini pocket, or it passes through again into the larger full-size iPad or tablet pocket. So you can have your iPad and your iPad mini, or your iPad and your phone, any host of different devices, and the cables will actually be hidden away coming off of the battery and into the device. Now the only caveat to that is the fact that Judy had her lightning connector break off of one of her iPad minis. So I do think you want to be careful how you position the tablet in the bag. You don't want to put too much stress on the lightning connector lest it break. Probably I'm going to be more likely to have the cable coming up out of the bag and charging it while the device is outside. But we'll see how that plays out. So here on the back is where it gets even more interesting. You've got a connection loop here a D-ring and a D-ring here, and you've got these two adjustable pieces, these connectors right here. That's where this comes into play. So this has the force name on it, and you just take it and it's got D-rings as well. You connect the D-rings to the top. This is the first time I'm doing it, but I did watch the video on their site. And then you connect it at the bottom. And now you have a backpack. A nicely adjustable backpack. And uh, as you can see, it's actually, it sits nice and tight to the back. It's actually surprisingly comfortable. Um, and I can see, definitely see using it in an airport that way, or I can definitely see using it when I'm uh, running around uh, out and about that way as well. You also have a nice grab handle here. So it fulfills a lot of different basic needs and requirements. Now, the other thing you can do is detach these two pieces, and this is why they designed it this way. It, they could have included a backpack strap and a messenger strap, but A, that would have been wasteful, it would have been more to carry, and it would have been more expensive. So that's not what they did. What they did is they made the backpack strap double function as your messenger bag strap also. So you simply take the same strap, connect it, lock down this, and now you've got a messenger bag. And actually a really nice one, and the shoulder straps now double as your the backpack shoulder straps now double as your messenger bag strap. So it's one strap, and what you can do is just take it, and you can actually, if you're not carrying a laptop, you can just tuck it back inside, and you don't even have to disconnect everything. But you can very easily, and if you want to travel really light, you can detach the shoulder strap, which is a pretty interesting design, if you ask me, and... Carry it just as if it were a, a briefcase. Um, I don't particularly love the feel of the material. It's got a very interesting, um, uh, slick, synthetic feel to it. But I do appreciate the fact that it is weatherproof, that the 
Zippers are weather sealed. Um, it just makes for a really, really nice bag. This is the Force Freedom. This is a messenger bag, a backpack, and a briefcase that includes a 15,000 milliamp hour battery and cable device pads so that you can charge your devices on the go. It'll keep your smartphone charged for up to a week. It has an MSRP of just under $200. It is available now. It's from a new company, I believe, out of Denmark. And uh, it comes right now, at least, with free international shipping. We're going to be using these, Judy and I, at CES 2015 to carry our gear as we're running around from appointment to appointment. The Force Freedom. This is Dan from Gear Diary. Thanks very much for watching. Wow. <laughs>